everybody and welcome back it's me your boy worst epic gamer and today we have a brand new awakening to do which is the time traveler krona is about to get her awakening guys and to be honest i'm kind of hesitant to awake this chick because check it out man look at them tits who wants to awaken those i do so let's go ahead and start um uh, i've done part number one already as you can already tell i just have to enchant her and let's just go to part number two and see what she's got to do all right part number two right on the valkyries and uh, luckily, this is already open today. Everything is open today, which is great news. So, Nightmare, all I got to do is sweep now because we've already beaten it. Let's finish this off, guys. Let's head back now. And let's claim our second part of this awakening. And then we can go on to part number three and see what she's got to do. Wait a minute. I didn't even read that. Is it the same as always when nobody uh, must... Oh, look at this one. It's a little different, guys. So, Krona must be the one to kill Yulfang. All right. So this one is a little bit trickier because you got to make sure that she's the one to end Yulfing's life. For the life of God. Alright. Normally what you want to do with this is put all support heroes, guys. Try not to have many heroes that will help her out. Unless you're really, really low a level. If you're literally a level 90, it'll be a lot harder. But since I'm level 100, this is a lot easier. So let me just... Ah, oh, Lumos should be fine. There we go. For support... Only her, she should be my main magic dealer. I mean, uh, she should be my main dealer, even though she's physical. Alright, so I'm crazy excited about this awakening. Because I actually think this might this might be good for her, guys. She was already a pretty cool hero in the arena before. But she's fallen off, obviously, with all the newer heroes released. But now, with this awakening, we could have something here, right? We could have something. Alright, so look at her go. She is so freaking sick. I mean, she's a little... I guess she's a beetle. I'm not really sure. A wasp. But she just goes from end to end of the battlefield, dealing damage. Uh, her ultimate does a ton of damage. So let's take a look at her ultimate here. Let's see if it's going to actually kill everybody. Let's go. Time travel. Boop, boop. Yep. No! 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 That's some... You saw that? Somehow, she wasn't the one to kill him. Somebody else ended up doing the job, guys. Oh, my God. That was awful. Let's go ahead and do it again. That's some bull... Who the hell was it? Who did it? I picked a bunch of scrubs. You know what I mean? To not do any damage. And they still ended up doing damage. I'm pretty sure maybe it was Lumos. But I already know what I gotta do right away. I'm going to... Let's put Ling Ling here. Completely different here. Uh, what I gotta do now is not use her ultimate directly from the start. What you should really do is wait for Yulfing's health to go to about maybe half or so. And then use her ultimate. Wait till the end. Because I think what I did is I used her ultimate. It did a lot of damage. Which probably... Um, Took Yulfing down to like this HP and then bam, somebody else came in and killed him. So that's kind of what I didn't want. So what we're going to do now is kind of set it up a little bit better here. So let's go with you, you. Put them to sleep. Let's use you. Oh no, he went on our boy. Solomon there, so that's not good. Let's go with this. And Krona doesn't even have an ultimate. Oh my god. Alright guys, I just saved you a bunch of time right there because I just went on to the third battle here. This is try number three. Let's see what the hell is going on here. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit. I literally didn't take any chances with this one at all, guys. As you can already tell, I put all heroes that don't do any damage at all. Because I think the first time Lumos did the damage and the second time it was definitely Solomon. There she goes. She finally did it. Alright, so that's how you don't take any chances. That's how we do it. Even though it took way too long. No, we don't need that. Let's go back, guys. Let's go ahead and complete this now. And uh, let's see this transformation. I hope that it's good. Whoa, okay. Oh, uh, that's pretty dope. Oh, man, look at this. So she's purple. And now she's got her different helmet. A completely different look. So all of a sudden, she's a librarian doing the math. Doing her homework. And there's the card. Look at that, guys. That's a sick card right there. Krona, the time traveler, looks amazing. Damn, dude. 
The tits are even bigger this time. I'm glad I awakened her. Wow. Look at those. All right, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's open her up here. So as you can tell, a little change here. Her helmet's changed. Her look has changed a lot. And I love it. I think it's awesome. I think it's a phenomenal look. We have ruins now. Now let's go to abilities and let's see what her awakened ability is. Interdimensional ally. Krona disappears into another dimension and returns with her doppelganger from another dimension. Both her basic attacks and stealth mode ability deal additional damage. Okay. When her doppelganger is on the battlefield, Krona also has a higher magic and a physical armor. So a lot of things happening with this guy. She's going to create another... She's going to disappear, come back with a doppelganger. Uh, basic attack and stealth mode are going to do more damage. And magic armor and physical armor will increase. So a lot of really, really good things happening here, guys. So I love this awakening for Krona. This should actually make her a lot better. And she was already pretty good. But I think now you might see a lot of Kronas roaming around. Because she's already tough to kill because of her double life. Now uh, doppelganger. So... We'll be seeing her a lot more, I feel like, in the future. So, let's go ahead and let's keep going on promoting her. Alright, so let's just jump right into the forge here, guys. I'm going to auto-forge her, as always, 50 times here at the basic. Let's go. Give her a little bit of a boost before we take her into battle. Um, now, Krona, I already had maxed out pretty much everywhere else other than the forge. Her Heroic Academy is done. So, after this, we're going to take her into an arena battle and see if she is viable for the arena right now. Main arena team hero. Let's see if we can get a good spot with her on our team. Not sure, but we will try it, alright? So, let's go ahead and take her to the battle like after I check out these stats here. So, not bad, not bad. We got a little boost. Let's go to the arena. Alright, guys. So, here we are in the main arena battle. I think this is for the second spot in the main arena. So... I got Krona in there, let's see if she can handle herself against these top tier heroes here. We got Mika, we got Batman. So, uh, the good thing is, is she goes completely away from Batman. She's on the other side, so I'm not really worried about him just yet with her. I'm kind of trying to see how long she'll survive. One, and two, what this doppelganger is all about. So, let's see. And she's definitely, uh, oh no! Wow, that was actually some pretty bad luck, guys. Normally she has double life, but she got hit with Haruk's ultimate, which kind of negated her ability there. Damn. That was not cool. Not cool at all. But we still have a chance here. We got Batman, we got Mira, and we have Volko to win this battle. Oh no! Oh, I thought I died there because that Batman got his ultimate, but we're still alive. And uh, for some reason... Krona is still in the battle. She doesn't want to go away, guys. Freaking weird. <laughs> She's still over there. Dead in the spot, but... Anyways, it wasn't a great showing for... For Krona there. Damn, that was a terrible showing. Hmm. Wonder if we can try it again. Alright, guys, so back at it again here. Uh, now I'm going for the number one spot, alright? So that was for number two. We won that one. This is for number one spot with Krona. Let's see... What's going to happen here? Um, I wasn't able to spot the double ginger before, but maybe now we can see her. It's still tough. There's a lot of action going on over there. And there's just too many things happening to her. Let's see. Okay, she's still alive. There he goes. Ultimate. This is what I was looking for right now. Boom! Let's see how much damage this is going to do. But I don't see a double ginger anywhere around. She's still alive. And there goes the life. Uh, her second life now because she died already so she's on her second life and now she's completely dead and we are getting murked wow big l damn it krona didn't impress me still uh, that, that ability sounds pretty cool but i don't see a doppelganger maybe it's glitched i'm not sure but she dealt a good enough damage but died hmm further testing is needed guys further testing is definitely needed Alright guys, so like I said before, I'm going to test her out a lot more now. I have the Enchanter item, I don't want to forget that. Put some Ruins on her as well. Don't forget the arenas that I'm battling, the teams that I'm battling, they're all pretty much maxed out in Ruins and Abilities and everything. So she is facing a tough competition, but... Hmm, I'll test her out more on my streams and let you guys know exactly how she does, alright? So check me out on the stream, but for now, I'm going to end this video off here. I hope you guys enjoy the brand new Awakened Hero, the Time Traveler, and I will catch you guys next time. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night!
Peace out, everybody.